My name is Shannon Welch and I am approaching my 10th year in teaching as an agriculture teacher at Elk Grove High School. I was raised till age 14 in rural Harold, California, where I spent most of my time at my grandparents' 18-acre family farm planting and harvesting vegetables. Riding the tractor and planting with my grandpa are my most treasured memories. It is from my grandpa and my mom that I develop my love and respect for agriculture. At 14, we moved to Tracy, California, where I attended high school, was a student in their first Ag Science Academy, and was very involved in the FFA chapter. Other than high school classes, I spent my time raising market lambs, being a chapter officer, and competing in veg crops, public speaking, and parlay pro. Upon graduation, I attended Modesto Junior College, where I took agriculture classes and received my associate's degree. Following, I attended Fresno State, where I received my bachelor's degree and my teaching credentials. To stay busy, I worked at the Meats Lab at Fresno State, assisting in the harvesting and processing of livestock animals. I was also on the FFA Convention Committee, the Red Wave Show and Sale Committee, and the FFA Field Day Committee. I began my teaching experience in the fall of 2003 as a part-time student teacher at Sierra High School, and I completed my final student teaching at rural La Grande High School. Since student teaching, I have taught for five years at Colinga High School, and I'm beginning my fifth year at Elk Grove High School this fall. Currently at Elk Grove, I teach Ag Earth Science to juniors and traditional introduction to agriculture to freshmen. At both schools where I have been employed, I have been exposed to teaching students with a vast array of special needs and learning disabilities. I've taught many ELL students, students with ADHD, dyslexia, autism, Asperger's, ADD, hearing impairment, behavioral disorders, and other processing and comprehension disorders. In Colinga, I had some support from special education teachers, but very little support and correspondence with parents due to a language barrier. With the help and suggestions from special ed teachers and from reading students' IEPs, I was able to make modifications for my students to aid them in their classroom success. In Elk Grove, I have a lot of support for my special needs students. I regularly attend IEPs. If I need to attend one that is during my regular class periods, my site will provide a sub for me so that I can contribute to the meeting. I am emailed IEPs at the beginning of the year and updated ones as we have meetings and make changes. My site has a program called School Loop which enables parents to view grades and email teachers 24 hours a day. This program greatly assists in maintaining parent contact concerning their students, whether they are special needs students or not. If any child has a severe disorder, such as autism or a multitude of disabilities, that student is provided a paraeducator in all of their inclusive classes each day. Students who are classified as RSP are often placed in inclusion classes and their special education teachers are very good at providing feedback setting up modifications, reading tests, and assisting their students in many other ways. As a regular education teacher, I try to be as supportive as I can of all of my students. For my students with special needs, I always try to attend their IEP meetings. I keep a folder of their updated IEPs in my classroom so that I can easily look up modifications and make notes as I acquire more information from parents. Modifications are individualized for student needs and I have made several over the years. I have modified tests in numerous ways and have used modified grading scales. I have also made a variety of modifications for students to take notes. I often pair special needs students with peers in the classroom and at the school farm to aid that student in developing their cooperation and understanding from and with their peers. I give extra time on tests and assignments and allow alternate assignments that fit the needs and strengths of the particular student. After nine years of teaching, I feel as though I started yesterday. Students surprise me daily, and if I'm going to be helpful in their success, I need to keep learning how to best serve them as times change. You never know what you are going to get in a classroom, and from this course, I simply want to learn as much as I can about the background of the disorders in the course and how to best serve the students who have those disorders. You can never know too much when it comes to servicing your students.